you guys? You're watching the MTV show and we are still here kicking it with Sam Ree. We're gonna do a bit of a disjointed interview with you right now, okay. but first and foremost, I wanna talk to you about your album, Season Two. Yeah. Specifically, the name of the album. What's right. behind the title? Um, well, a friend asked me this the other day, he was like, hey, uh, when's, when's season three coming out and then why season two? And I told him because episode two, two sounds a bit too short and phase two sounds like a science experiment. I was like 19 going on 20 when I started writing it and then I'm like, you know, 21 now, like voting age and I felt like, um, not just in terms of age, but just like the experiences that I racked up in the year that I was writing it, uh, I felt like like I came out of it like an entirely different person. Like I look back at how I was at 19 and like I can't even recognize myself. So I felt like this is like the V2 of me, you know? And then like I said, phase two sounds too much like I'm a leverage. So I just called it season two. Hmm. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you have ever Googled? Recently, I was at the this exhibition at the Art Science Museum. It was like the humans of the future type, like SciTech versus like, you know, whatever. And then there's a lot of terms on the placard that <laughs> I didn't understand. And I was like trying to appreciate it, but I was like, I'm a bit too stupid to understand this. So I need to Google this. So I think the most recent thing I Googled was a sphincter. It was this exhibition where it's like this artist did a bunch of like, like babies and how you can like modify them to like have better like life chances. Huh. So like say if it's a baby who like needs to take medicine, like oral medication and they can't really like swallow or whatever so basically like the modification they did was like they like open up a flap of skin and skull so basically like a, like a suction point to absorb the pill through and that's a sphincter right it was so weird i, I was me. not ready for that <laughs> answer I, 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 I like halfway left my mouth like should i really go there? this is a bit too graphic and like a bunch of like people who are actually smart know what they're talking about like this girl has no idea what they're just talking well, about you know but but i think that's what a sphincter is so it's like a like a suction hole that's yeah like your... it's a hole Okay, now moving back towards talking about season two, um, what track on the album would you say kind of means the most to you? My most self-indulgent song, I think, is the last song on the album called 20,000. Every song in that, until that point, had been about a boy and about like me just like, oh, why? And then like writing about this boy. And then um, 20,000, I wrote it like a good couple of months after everything else had been done. So it'd been done and it was gonna be an EP at first. And then I went up to KL to visit uh, my, my good friend, my producer, Gross. And then uh, we just sat down and ended up doing this Song, and it was the first song that I wrote that I felt like was a letter to myself instead mm. of to somebody else. Now moving away from the album into something a little random, but if you could be a member of the opposite sex for a day, what would you do? Ooh, well, okay, well, I'm setting up a Tinder profile for sure. I think I'd be, I think I'd kill it. Like, I honestly <laughs> think I would kill the dating game if I was a dude and I had Tinder profile here. Back to the music. In the past, you've been compared to like Majid Jordan. I also Ooh. think that your sound is very similar to Za. That's like or a DBSN. Um, but now that you have sort of found your signature sound, is there any other sound or music type that you would like to explore? I definitely want to try like not rapping, but just um, there's a couple of songs in there where I don't um, really like sing. So it's like, I just kind of like talk, sing like Kesha or something. Mm -hmm. I'm also pretty game on like exploring like writing in like Chinese. But on to the random question. <laughs> and I kind of love this question, but okay. If you could relive any experience in your life ever again for 30 minutes, what would it be and why? When I was um, 15, I went to New Zealand with my family and I just remember the long ass drive. Endless like mountains, hills, some are snow capped, some have like fog, some have like little trees or whatever, and there's like sheep everywhere. <laughs> and it's just like beautiful lakes. And if I could relive just half an hour of that drive, I would I know I would probably like die happy. Like that's that, amazing. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I know. New Zealand is really beautiful. It's so chill. I know, right? <laughs> Get all beautiful. that Lord of the Rings vibe oh, going yeah, yeah. on. And the sheep and are like a lot of sheep. It's so cute. A lot of sheep. Thank you, Sam, so much for hanging no, out so much, on man. the MTV show with me. We wanted. wish you all the best. Thank and you. for you guys out there, check out Sam's album season two. You will not be disappointed. And yeah, I guess we'll see you guys around. Bye.